Here's our beer guy's tail of the tape. Alejandro Flores, 31. Daniel Torres is 29. Both men 5 feet 9 inches tall. Significant reach advantage of 6 inches on the arms for Alejandro Flores. Gaito in the green, Torres in the gray. No touch of to the gloves. Regular season featherweight bout, six points potentially, if either of these men could earn a finish in the first round. is very good footwork. He's going to need that lateral movement and footwork to create angles and try to counter Torres, who loves to move forward. Torres more of a, a pressure fighter, but here he's kind of waiting for Flores a little bit. Switching in the stands here for Gaito Flores. Careful, and is an inside Time. leg kick. Time. Over, here. Over here. Over here. Torres incredulous. I think Take that one Come on. landed on the cup. Take your time, okay? Take a look at the replay here. Hey. I know it was unintentional. I know it was unintentional. I know it was unintentional. Just be real careful. Yep, okay? that inside right. leg kick is often the culprit of those. A little too high. Tor is not happy about that. Take your time and you let me know when you're ready physically and mentally, okay? Stay over here, please. Thank you. Stay right over here, okay? There's Bubba Badman Jenkins. Got a big fight against Chris Wade later on our main card on ESPN. Doesn't seem all that nervous at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sir? Okay, stay right there, please. Okay, be very careful, Daniel okay? Daniel Torres all right. signals Simon. that he is fight. ready to continue. Alejandro Flores in the green trunks, ready to go as well. Ooh, nice hook there by Flores. Careful. Flores swings and misses, but he's able to grab a hold of this body lock and press Torres up against the cage. The old foot stomps again, second time we've seen that tonight. <laughs> Shoulder punch by Flores, pulling out all the old tricks. Get off the shorts. Flores taking more of a conservative, conservative approach here. Looking for the takedown. Torres now doing a much better job with that underhook. Looking for a takedown all. Falls to his back. And Torres thought he had his hips captured, went to arch and, and twist, and Flores was just too long. Floated his hips over and then came down on top. Torres back to his feet though. Conservative approach for both fighters yeah. so far early in this fight. Good body shot and then a low kick here from Flores. There's 2021 featherweight champion Mavlid Haibulayev who is back tonight after a year away attending to an eye problem.
still undefeated in his mixed martial arts career. And will lead Haibulaya. That's the back of the head. A problem at 145 pounds. He'll take on Ryoji Kudo later. Right Let's now. check in with our betting expert, Ian Parker. Any betting opportunities when you see these live odds? Uh, Gaito plus 140. I like Flores right now at plus 140 if you're going to take him. Right now, Torres seems to kind of just be hesitant, waiting, and Flores is leading the dance. He was earlier plus 200. The odds keep going down. I think he's the guy in this fight. I think you can get good value with him at underdog odds still. Thank you, Ian Parker. Flores is able to now press Torres is back to the cage. Randy, it seems like Flores is trying to kind of stay head on to Torres to hit a takedown here. Does, does he need to cut an angle? He does need to capture those hips and get a little bit of an angle and then use that angle to take his opponent, you know, block that hip and knee and take him over that way. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have a post to put out there to stay on his feet. Torres tried the outside trip there. Now Torres reaches down, pulls over for a takedown, and finishes the round on top. Round two when we return. Sean O'Connell here with Randy Couture and Kenny Florian beside the PFL Smart Cage inside the cage. Regular season featherweight action. That's Daniel Torres in his PFL debut. In the green trunks is Alejandro Flores. Tough first round to score. AI gives it to Flores. We'll see what the strategy is here in round number two. Both men pretty conservative early. Yeah, Torres isn't exactly known as a high volume striker. But when he does land, he's usually pretty accurate. And Flores has good footwork, he has good lateral movement, but he's not throwing a whole lot of volume either. It seems like he's been really looking to get to that clinch and look for takedowns more than anything else. Both guys have seven knockouts, and I'm kind of wondering how the heck they've done it. Well, it's interesting because Gaito Alejandro Flores was on a win streak, and then last year in the regular season, Ryoji Kudo dispatched him with one big punch. So even though that was a long time ago, is the memory fresh enough that it's affecting the way that he fights now? It could very well be the case. Some people don't come back very confident after they get knocked out, and you may be seeing that in Flores, taking a more conservative approach, more defensive approach. Torres pressing Gaito up against the cage here. Come grab the shorts. Come grab He's got the body lack. Tried the knee. Torres able to reverse position. Two minutes gone here in round two, and they are chest to chest. Torres with a swing and a miss on the exit. Flores with a swing and a miss trying to come back in. Randy, one of the tough things about a fight like this where you're respecting your opponent's power, and you're feeling it out. Oh, big right hand from Torres. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt Flores for sure. Flores able to pull oh, it over, he's but still he's, hurt. Still, he's, he's still hurt. I don't know if Torres realizes it. That right hand snuck through. And now Gaito may have recovered fully. Movement hasn't been convinced just yet. Missed not, opportunity there for Torres? Yeah, exactly. I think Torres might not have realized that he hurt him. I get having some respect for your opponent's abilities and their powers, but at some point you've got to take a risk yeah. and step in there and let your hands go. Well, especially in the season format where these guys are trying to earn points, if you leave a close fight 
a tactical fight, a conservative fight to the judges' scorecards, you find yourself potentially disappointed and falling further out of reach of a million dollar opportunity. That time Torres came in on the left hand. Yeah, to me, it seems like Flores isn't really committing the way we're used to seeing him commit here in the smart cage. How about the former hey. unified lightweight boxing champ, Teofimo Lopez? Unbelievable fighter. Big upset over Lomachenko, one of my favorite boxing matches in recent history. Teofimo Lopez in the building. That dude knows how to commit to punches. You get it, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Final minute of round number two. Torres is able to bowl Flores down to the ground. Ian Parker, how do you see this fight in the live odds? I think Flores won round one. This was the only thing that really happened in round two. So I, I, I don't agree with the minus 175 of Torres. He's really done nothing. He's not thrown any volume. If he can make use of this takedown and get some action from on top, then he can decisively take the round. But even if he gets that, it's going to be 1-1 one, one going into the third. Thank you to the duck. Flores trying to kick away at that lead leg with the heel strikes. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Torres spins, but nothing doing. Stop time. Alejandro Flores in the green trunks. Torres, Daniel Torres in the gray. Solid upright stance here from Torres. Stepping in behind the right hand. Gaito moves out of the way. Couple of body shots there. I think both corners told these fighters they need to go out and steal this fight. Yeah, both men need to show way more a sense of urgency here. Seeing a little bit more movement, but no one really committing just yet. There's a nice kick from Flores and goes upstairs. This is where I've seen Torres kind of struggle in other fights to just be in the proper range. It seems like he's never quite close enough to feel comfortable to throw a flurry. Once he gets on the inside, he'll let his hands go, but he's been very hesitant here against Flores. And Flores, again, as that counter striker, that role that he tends to take in fights, just doesn't make for the best matchup here. Here's another look at our ghost cam technology. Looking through the fence, takes the chain link out of the way. Daniel Torres now has his back pressed against the cage. Don't grab Alejandro the cage. Alejandro Flores. Don't grab it. Doing the pressing, but not able to mount any significant offense. Torres shoves it off. Back to a striking ring. That's a nice hook. Heavy leg kick there. Alejandro Flores. Oh. Flores starting to get a little too wild here. But it's good to see him really try to commit more on his strikes. <laughs> Halfway through round number three. Live odds in the favor of Daniel Torres. The bottom right hand corner of your screen. That's uh that's Bubba Jenkins chopping it up with Wiz Khalifa, who is a partner here in the PFL and avid mixed martial arts trainer or trainee, I should say, himself. You might hear his songs on the opens here for the PFL regular season. 
Wiz in the building to watch Bubba do work later tonight. There's some nice countering from Flores. Now looking for a takedown, has a much better angle here. See if he can finish it. Yeah, I mean, he's got the angle here. He's just not taking it. He's, he seems like he wants to stay more square to Torres up against the cage for control, but very difficult to hit a takedown from there. Absolutely. Oh, nice body shots from Flores. Nice return from Torres. The hammer fist to the lead thigh. <laughs> Maybe a little too late for that to score dividends in this fight. Yeah, it's pretty risky as well. Now going for a double. Torres trying to counter with a guillotine. Front headlock. Job by Flores to get his head out of there. Don't grab it. Do not grab the face. Final 30 seconds of this featherweight bout. Three points and a potential bonus point still on the line. If either man can get a last second finish, Flores tries to step through with the inside trip. Unsuccessful. Final 10 seconds. An exchange of left hands. Daito tries to run through and is able oh. to pull Torres down to finish this fight on top at the final bell. But we'll see what our announcers thought. Uh, AI thought it was Torres. Randy and Kenny thought Gaito Alejandro Flores earned the decision victory here. We'll see what the commission judges have to say with Justin Rupp. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this bout 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision, earning three points in the featherweight division, Alejandro El Gaito Flores. So Gaito gets the three points and a spot in the featherweight standings.